Hey, I believe that I have been given something very important that I want to share with you. And uh, I believe that it's going to bless the body of Christ. And I believe that it's definitely going to do some edifying and lifting up. Uh, this morning, I just felt something drawing me to go on the prayer and just to find myself in the presence of God. And so I responded to that and just began to worship God and just to seek after him. And God spoke to me during that time and instructed me to write down what he was about to show me. And that's exactly what I've done. So I want to read to you what I wrote down that I believe I got straight from the throne room. Judge ye amongst yourselves whether this is so. If this blesses you, then take this word back to God in prayer and talk to him concerning it. If you know somebody to whom this word might pertain to, share it with them. If you believe that this is something that God is doing, then share this because many need to know what the Lord is up to and receive clarification. So I'm going to read to you what I wrote down in the spirit. Many of you have desired to see the full restoration of apostolic demonstration, signs, wonders, miracles, healings, all the majesty of my supernatural power working in the middle of you confirming my kingdom and the things that you've been preaching when you've assembled together in my name. I've seen you and I've heard you. You've called to me. Your hearts have cried out and your souls have hungered and thirsted to see my word fulfilled on the earth where you reside. I've seen you and I've heard you. I'll reveal to you what I've been doing. Now I'll open up your understanding and you will see. And seeing, you'll believe. There was a fear of God in the churches established all over the face of the earth. And I have worked accordingly. Everything concerning my plan. Establishing every precept and solidifying every concept of my mind among you. The time has come to transition as it is written, from faith to faith and from glory to glory. What you've desired in that you've longed to see more of my glory, I will fulfill. I was the one that gave to you for you to desire these things. It was my doing. To see the greater glory, there must be a greater reverence. I am the God of order. For the greater reference, there is a price, as it is written, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forward much fruit. And again, it is written, every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forward more fruit. And yet again, it is written, herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. The reward for sin is death. I willingly paid this price for you because I have desired you. Among my people, I have selected those that would pay the price for the things that you've desired of me concerning my glory. It is the truth. These of my servants have asked of me to be used and desired of me that they might be vessels of my glory. I have honored them and chosen these that they might pay the price. Many of you among these chosen of all the ones that I've called out have suffered unimaginable suffering. By my hand, I've taken you through things that you did not imagine for your life. The circumstances have looked as if I made a mock of you, as if I have betrayed you, as if I have taken the sweet smell of your prayers and violently blown them back into your faces to choke you. Many of you have felt forsaken, even to the core of your very being. Many of you have struggled beyond what you thought was possible for you to handle. You've desired to escape, longed for relief, prayed and fasted that this cup might be taken from you, not realizing it is the cup which you've desired of me so earnestly. 
you've pleased me with your life and with your choices. Therefore, I have given you what you asked. I know that what you asked for is not what you thought you were getting when the suffering and the pain and the anguish came. Because of this, many of you have longed for death that you might enter into rest. I love you too much to withhold any good thing from you. And some of these things that are good come by way of suffering. You that have been chosen to pay this price, you have gone through training that others have not endured. You have been prepared. You have and are paying a price. Take courage and don't lose heart. I have honored you and answered your desire, which you expressed. Now, will you be the examples to others, to your brothers and sisters, and to those whom I shall still call into everlasting life, and to those who have and will reject the truth? You will restore fully the reverence for God, and the glory and power will follow, such as has not yet seen upon the earth. I am the one, the source and the power. I am the coming king, and my kingdom shall not see an end. I will reign forever, and you with me. Take heart, you are my sons and my daughters, and I am Abba, your father. This is what I got in, in prayer, in the spirit. This is what God spoke to me this morning. Believe it. Judge for yourself and see if the spirit within you bears witness. And if so, then share this word and cause there to be an awareness within the body and prepare for what God is about to do and rejoice because God is with us. Bless you. Bless you abundantly. Grace and mercy be with you and peace from our Father.